Oh, great. We were just commenting about that. Can we get in here? Is this shelter? No? It's not shelter? Oh, hello, there's a backpack. Alright, this apparently is not shelter, so we're just going to have to lump it. Oh, where are we? Oh, great. We can't because there are enemies nearby. Get a blondies, welcome to the episode. Get a blondies. Welcome to episode 63 of the Lunar to Legend Crafting Challenge. This is Blondie speaking. How are you all doing? We are in Lamansk, and please go watch the last couple of episodes if you haven't already, because you get to see our journey all the way through cutting a bloody swath. As monolith, no less. Yes, the transformation was complete. And now here we are, hauling all of our wondrous goods back out of here. And I think, from memory, that was the last of our haul. Gee, it's only been a couple of days, but... Trying to figure out where... Yep. Whoops, whoops. Hey, 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 hey. We picked up the stash that was out the back here. No stashes there. And our next stash is across the river. So, we're transporting all of our ill-gotten gains back to Army Warehouse. That is the goal for this episode. We are currently disguised as Monolith, and I realize that I probably haven't described the disguise system quite as extensively as um, perhaps would be useful for you guys. So I will do my best to, to address that this episode. So at the moment, a lot of people are saying they didn't realize that you could um, disguise yourself as Monolith. So that's all I've ever known with um, the latest iteration of Anomaly. Uh, we're wearing a monolith Nozorog. You can see it at the top there. You can see in the fa in the properties section next to faction It says monolith. So this is identified as a piece of monolith kit and that allows us to attach monolith patches onto it to identify ourselves as monolith That's what activates the disguise and of course if we do anything which is out of character They can see through the disguise and, and our cover is blown and they'll shoot at us which already happened in the last couple of episodes. Go and check those out. So we refreshed the patch a couple of times to try and refresh the disguise and it seems to have worked. So far they've left us alone. We've even been able to walk straight past them and they haven't shot at us. So we're going to be relying on that to get the rest of our loot out if we can. We may not have a choice when we reach the house because there's usually quite a few of them built up around that area. We may have to kill a couple just to get through. Okay, we can hear more gunfire, that's cool. But that's effectively how the um, disguise system works. So in order to be disguised as a faction, you need to be wearing a suit that belongs to that faction. Then you need to attach a faction patch if one isn't already attached, if you didn't rip it off. Yeah, see, I can put my crosshair over him and he's green. He's monolith, but he's green, which means he's friendly to us. The disguise is working. There's a guy down here. We're not going to push our luck with these guys. If you get too close to them, you stand in front of them for too long, they'll see through the disguise. So, disguises work. Let, let, let's do this now. I'll explain this now. Disguises work. Let's get out of the radiation patch so it's not clicking in my ear all the time. Disguises work based on a bunch of different metrics, but by default, pretty much everything is switched on. So, if you're not fiddled around with those settings, your disguise is... Uh, it's affected by a lot of things. It's affected by the weapon you're currently carrying. It's affected by the armor that you're wearing. It's affected by the condition of the items that you have equipped. So all of this stuff is in good condition. It increases the validity of the disguise. They can even see magically inside your backpack. They know what you're carrying. Right? They see all the bulges and they go, yeah, this guy's all swagged up. Anything that you're carrying inside your backpack will also potentially... Um, cause suspicion if it's not keeping in line with the faction that you're trying to disguise yourself as. So all of this stuff counts. Everything counts at the moment. Pretty much. 
So the fact that we're walking around with a bucket load of swag probably has them more suspicious than if we were just walking around kitted up with a couple of assault weapons. This guy won't say much. We can walk straight past him. We will be fine. You can see suspicion meter in the bottom, the equal signs. They're green. They go up as we get closer. They will disappear as we just move on. We're walking and our weapon is... Um, it's equipped, but it's not readied. So this also helps with the disguise. Now you watch this guy. There'll be a guy right here. We'll walk straight past him. We're going to do it without stopping because we pass really close to him and that's when it starts getting dangerous. He may in fact start to aggro. Let's hope not. We walk straight through. There we go. You can see suspicion went way up as we kind of walked past him, but not enough to trigger a response. That will go down over time. As long as you're out of line of sight and you're not doing anything stupid, that will go down. So that's effectively how disguises work. You can get away with a fair bit of cool stuff. Um, there is a lot of sabotage and stealth gameplay that you can have with the disguises. They're not bulletproof by any means. Um, and the condition of your gear and, and what you're actually equipped with will probably be the biggest determinants. So as long as you're equipped, what basically looks like um, that faction, and you're not doing anything too stupid like, you know, throwing grenades and stuff around, uh, or running around with your weapon out, then they'll treat you like one of their own. You'll just be another brother. And that can be enough. Enough to line you up with a good headshot or put you in a really good position or even just to sneak past. Whichever you need to do. What the hell? But for the most part, if you just want the disguise to hold, if you just want to get through an area, it's always good to stay as far away from those stalkers as possible. Also keep in mind, you got a faction patch on that doesn't belong to your faction. Anyone that comes from your natural faction, so we're a loner, we're running around with a monolith patch on. Loners won't care. They'll see us as monolith and they'll shoot. They do remember to take your patch off when you're finished. Just a friendly reminder. Alright, so this is where it potentially gets a little bit dicey because... Okay, this area is normally bottlenecked with a couple of guys. We killed off a couple of sin here before. He's got a couple of things on him. Not that I really care. This guy's still spread-eagled. I heard something. I swear I heard something. Yeah, it's this guy. We're going to try walking past him as well. We're going to load up on swag, then we're going to try and walk past. If we can get away without shooting him, that would be great. I don't particularly want to have to top anyone if I don't. I hear people running. There is definitely someone out there. Alright, we're gonna... Oh, maybe he's walking. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, I think that's what it is. He's walking backwards and forwards. Okay, so he'll... Wow, you can really see the polygons from this angle. Man, that looks pretty bad. <laughs> that looks pretty rubbish, eh? Yeah, he's just gonna do like the rounds or something. Yeah, he's gonna come back. We're gonna walk past him. Nope, he didn't like that. Come on, you. Great. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do instead. We're just gonna pop these back and I'm gonna loot this guy. Disassembled you. I don't want anyone picking that up. Yeah, great. Holy crap, man. That's probably all the stuff that we had just lying around out there, right? Plus extra. <laughs> We're going to have company shortly. Man, he blew our cover so quickly. It wasn't even a contest. What's our armor looking like? That's pretty good. 
What's that weapon looking like? Oh, that's pretty good too. Alright, so... I don't know how much of these we'll need. Oh, yeah, we can... Let's take that. You know what, we should actually go and loot that guy. Use your thinking head, Blundie. So that's not the guy we topped. Seriously? Look at all this stuff. Gonna check him. Puss, this guy had a nuzzle rug on him. Double the patches, double the fun. Look at this guy. Come on. Boop. I'll take that, because that can be used for repairs. Alright. Did I hear footsteps? So here's what we're going to do. Going to tear off the patch and reattach another one. Why do I keep doing that? Alright. So I think our disguise is good again. Some of these. We want one. Okay, that one was slightly too far over. I'm looking at our weight down here. Don't want that to go into the red. Because that starts to severely drain our health. Oh, sorry, our health. Our stamina. The running stuff. You know. Alright, there was a guy so I could... Yeah, see there's like a disguise notification here. Whoa. Okay, we got... Look at these guys. We'll let them come through. And hopefully none of them aggro. Keep moving. Keep going. All hail Monolita. Yes, get them brothers. Find, search, seek, destroy, get them brothers. Uh, okay, that's downstairs. I was wondering why that's going off. It's kind of freaking me out. Yep, yeah, there it is. Yeah, you, you check it out. I got you back. We're just going to run this all the way back to the start. We're not going to stuff around. Okay. Now, we're probably going to have dudes down here. This is where it gets funky, because as you come further back this way, you can start getting freedom, loner spawns, bandit spawns, and they'll all fight with monolith. And we are currently patched up as monolith, so... I'm just going to have to be careful we don't shoot anyone we don't really want to. Who are you? You're monolita? Okay. Our disguise is holding with him. Oh. I'm going to try and just get around his line of sight. As long as we break line of sight, we're generally good. Damn, man. Look at it all. Yep, okay. Um, do we need those? don't know if it's these ones we need. One of these days I'll actually remember to take some screenshots or do a printout of the stuff that we need. That'd be handy. 
Handy dandy. What do we got down here? Okay, we got another free stalker. No good. So yeah, these are the patrols coming through. Alright, let's get into it. Uh, let's get into our stash. Do this part quickly. Alright. Sweet. All of this stuff can go back in. Let's free up all of this space. Let's put the pistol back. I don't think we really need to carry that around with us. And if that's the case, we can put all of that back. Uh, let's put this back and this back. Cool. Man, this hole that we've got. This is crazy. Keep one of these grenades, put the rest in. They don't need to be with us. Wow. All of them don't need to be with us. That's nuts. That doesn't need to be here. We got a lot of stuff to sort through when we get back. This is nuts. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't think we need all of those. Yep, can put those back. Two of those. Caffeine tablets, yes. I like. Uh, what else we got here? Pills, pills, pills. All of the pills. So many glucose shots. Crazy. All right. Let's put all of this back. That can stay. One of these can probably stay. Can you actually... No, they're only double uses, I think. Don't need quite so many energy drinks. Uh, I really don't want the ammo parts. They're not really going to help us. Okay. Okay, so we'll put one of those back. Yeah, I think this will probably do us. That's fine. I'm happy with those. Cool. Alright, and we're thirsty, of course. Uh, did we actually have anything in here that we can drink? Do we have any sparkling water? We did. Damn. Okay, let's have one of these. Lovely. Alright. head back and grab the rest of our stuff. I'm thinking we will save it this fire up ahead when we get there. This guy we could probably top. Hey. Not sure if that'll be handy, but sure. We could actually top this guy for a bit of extra loot. Problem is I don't know if anyone is watching. Another body here that we looted this guy, right? Nope. Alright, let's just go past this guy. If he attacks, we'll kill him. Eh, eh, come on. Upsy doodle. Alright, let's try and save. Come on. Cool. Okay, I hear people yelling and stuff. One's still alive. Who are they attacking? Who are they attacking? It's up here. By the sounds. Man, it would be so nice. Could we? Oh, that would be... I, I think the backpack is too far away. Oh. <laughs> that would be so cool if we could. If I'd positioned the backpack a little better, we could have just done this. Man, that would have been ideal, hey? 
Okay, he's coming out. Why is he coming out? What's he doing? What's he what's he doing? What are you doing? Do you want to swallow a granate? Yeah, oh hail the monolith. Please go away. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, that looks painful. Oh, wow. Where did you come from? Were you there before? You weren't, were you? Surely these are new bodies. Ugh. Yeah, okay. This is all technically fluffing. Let's not do that. Let's just... The things and the things and go. Okay, all of these things. Here we go. Ah, crap. Alright, that's us. Let them do their monolita thing. Let's get out of here. Yep, might be possibly one or two more trips. Let's see how we go. Well, this is all money, baby. Luteus Maximus. I like it. I know you'll like it. Makes everybody happy. Maximum happiness. It's still there. Are there more bodies down here? Is that what's happening? Is he gonna aggro on us? No, he's not. It'd be very unfortunate if he did. The closer you get, the dicier it gets. Alright. The great thing about this little stash bot is we're not too far away from cover if an emission or something hits, so we should have ready access to get ourselves in cover and be nice and safe. This needs to be disassembled. I'm getting all of the SMGs because I did see a comment uh, which mentioned that uh, some of the components we need for crafting can be found in SMGs. Thank you for that. Um, commenter in the tips I do appreciate that we will we'll disassemble as much as we can to be honest I just want to just want to get my hands on as much as possible just to cover all bases oh, I don't think we need those probably don't technically need all of those either we'll keep them just in case the crap hits the fan and I've still got these ammo parts which I forgot to get rid of can stay got chocolate bars where did you come from so many random things. Alright, let's drop this piece of crap, because we don't need ammo parts anymore. If you're confused about that, um, ammo parts are typically used to recraft old ammo into new ammo. Uh, I don't do that anymore, and if you'd like to know why, there's a video on the channel which uh, mentions we tested old ammo. Do go and check that out. The long, long and the short of it is... Um, old ammo isn't nearly as bad as it sounds and the wear on the gun and even the the decrease in damage is negligible if even debatable but there's definitely some wear some extra wear on the gun you shooting old ammo but um it's debatable whether it does less damage and that's that's enough for me to say well it doesn't really matter so i don't bother recrafting old ammo anymore i just use it as is Unless it's for guns we're not going to use, in which case we'll just get rid of it or sell it. Believe it or not, a decent um, a decent stack of ammo can sell for a fair bit. This is why I'm collecting ammo. It's, it's basically currency. And in a lot of cases it's relatively light currency as well. It, it doesn't weigh too much. That was behind us. Great. So is that guy attacking mutants or probably people? Probably people. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, desperate. Yes. 
Alright, let's grab all of this stuff. This is all coming back with me. Leave no loot behind. Yep, I realize that we have a lot of stuff which probably hasn't been read or combined or any of that stuff. And it will be in due time. But for the time being, we just want to get it out of here. Okay, grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that. See, we've actually got a fair stack of stuff here. Boom. Okay, that's going to be 0.8. That's actually quite light. 0.3, we could probably go for something which was... Okay, it's a bit too heavy. That'll do, that'll do. Let's not stuff around and debate minuscule amounts of weight. We can just run with this. I'll tell you what, if this mono is still guarding this crossway by the time we're finished, he's eaten a bullet. Having said that, we'll probably get our cover blown. Oh. Who is that? Let's go. I don't want to attack because I don't know who it is. Where are you? Who is this guy? Who are you? Stop moving. Okay, he's an ecologist. So what we're going to do is we're going to tear the patch off. Okay, now he's friendly. So he didn't see us tear the patch off. Whew. Almost shot an ecologist. He's not super well armoured. I'm kind of surprised that he's down here. And there's the other guy. He knows. He's like, fuck it. I see what you did there. But I didn't shoot you, dude. And that's the takeaway here. Uh, so they must have topped this guy. Yeah, they did. So, ooh. didn't do a very good job of looting this guy. Take that, for sure. Pretty sure that's got nothing we need. Pop. Now, they must have looted this guy, surely. Yeah, his gun's gone. Alright, let's go. We're just going to have to risk it. Those guys are going to try and run through that house that we just came back from. They're going to get themselves shot, so... We'll hear the gunshots. We'll know where they are based on that. Okay. Boom. Beautiful. Almost gave stuff away in the wrong direction. You, I don't need you. I realize I could probably put some of these rounds back. I'm just paranoid about getting caught out in a firefight when things go down, so that's why they're staying with me. Just in case. Come on, I can put all of those back. There we go. Wow, we got so many repair tools. Look at this stuff, man. Look at this stuff. Hey. That can stay, that can stay. Like I said, we'll worry about combining all of this stuff later. I just want to get as much done as we can. Yeah, it's just too... As much done as we can while we're here. Um, and quickly get this stuff back into one place. This episode will be slightly longer. It's, it's, I'm not considering it one of the, um, not considering it an in-between episode like I have with some of the others. It's not going to be, uh, anything like that. People seem to be favorable enough towards these sorts of episodes, the longer sort of episodes, even if they're a bit more chilled. So I'm just going to keep doing them as standard episodes. Mandatory watching? Of course not. You can choose what you want to watch. But they are part of the Stalker experience, and so I will include them from now on. 
Where have those ecologists gone? I don't hear any shooty bang bang yet. And where have my mono patches gone? Did I put them back? I must have, yeah. Alright, let's attach a patch. Just paranoid about getting caught out again. Yeah, okay, there we go. There's the shooty shooty. That was close. That was actually really close. Okay, were the ecologists... Okay, I think the ecologists must have been holding one of the checkpoints. And now they've run afoul of maybe monolith or mercenaries. Possibly even bandits or sin. That sounds like monolith. Yep. That's one down. Do we still have an ecologist left alive? I'll tell you what, if there's one ecologist left alive, I'll try and save him. Oh, he had a grenade ready. Damn. Uh, nope. Okay, someone's back out there. This guy's actually got a suit on him too. I am... Let's take it. Let's take the sapphire. Who are you? Okay, you're friendly. That's cool. Don't know why I just grabbed those. Okay, we'll grab all of this stuff. Come on. Look at all the patches this guy had. Holy crap. Talk about a trophy room. Okay, there's the other guy. Yeah, so he didn't make it. Yeah, you need to move on. Uh, I don't think you have what we need. This guy does, though. We could actually top this guy and take his stuff. Because he's got... He'd have the stuff that this guy had. Mr. Yellow, we'll call him. And you... I don't actually want to. I just want to grab our stuff. Like I said, if there's anyone left on the way out and we have space, sure. Alright, we got any dramas in here? Any where wares? We should be able to take all of this stuff. Bang. Yeah, we're cool. Alright, sweet. Sure. This guy's gonna eat a bullet. My reputation has worsened, though. Woe is me. Such a shame. Let's get out of here. I'm feeling pretty happy about that. I was just thinking... Okay. We are out. Let's... Let's pop one of these. Sweet. Sweet stalker juice. Come on. There we go. Alright. Pop. Let's go. Come on. Hop. There we go. Alright. Let's get back to the hideout. <laughs> I hide out. A stash point. Then we can look at transporting all of this good stuff. Come on. Transporting all of this good stuff back to Army Warehouse. We can sell off the bits we don't want, reassess where we're at, and life is wonderful once again. Alright, so we actually have a fair bit of stuff on us already. We have a backpack, which is good. I wanna I'm gonna need that. Uh I actually I think we already have a backpack stash at one of the previous entrances. I think we'd be okay. Alright, let's take what we've got. Actually, let's... Oh, yeah, let's sleep and... No, we don't need to. <laughs> do we, don't we, do we? Uh, yeah, nah. 
Let's take off the patch. I think we're done with that. Don't want to accidentally get topped by friendlies. Or have to top friendlies. That would be just as bad. Let's go. Boom. So we're going to take the same route that we came in with. We're going to head around. We're going to skirt around the outskirts of Dead City to get back. It's a relatively safe route. We got unlucky getting spotted on the way through last time, but they were far enough away that they couldn't really do anything. Uh, no. Yes. Let's just sidestep that. Let's get out of here. So we popped our Stalker Juice. Just need to be careful of anomalies along this line. There's a base right there. The Merc base. Because we're running around the outside, they shouldn't hear or see us. We should avoid all of the anomalies and we should be perfectly fine with a straight line back into Army Warehouse. That's the plan. That's the idea. Let's just switch out to a long range. Come on. Well, man, the hitbox on these things is ridiculous. There we go. Just keeping a low profile. Okay, I can hear buzzing. That's still a ways off. That's fine. Just checking this road up here because that's usually where you get caught out. They'll be walking off map into this area. And they can shoot at you from down this road. Such a pain in the ass. Okay, there's no one down there, I don't think. No one here either. Alright, we're good. So we should have a straight line. Straight back to the exit point. And... Man, you know, I swear... I put like a stash here. Nope. Clearly I did not. That's fine. Let's stash up here. We'll just leapfrog between areas. Blondie. Come on. I do wish Enter would just save the change. It does not, because it's painful. All of this stuff can stay. These can stay. They can stay. That can stay. Why do we have less of these? Now we are kind of exposed here. I am aware of this. But we have so much loot. Oh my god. We could actually dress up as mercs. Do we have a... yeah we do. No we can't. So that's a freedom patch. Uh, there's the merc patch there. We don't actually have any merc outfits. So that is why we cannot do that. That is fine. Can all stay. So many bandages. They can stay. Alright, I think we're good. And we are sleepy. So we may actually have to rest at some point very soon. Oops. Alright, let's go. I hope we don't get shot. There we go. <laughs> they won't really have a chance of catching us. We're going to be out of sight. We've got cover between us. They'll lose sight of us. Provided we can get over this nice and quick. Hop. There we go. Through the bushes. They will give up on us pretty quick. Little bit unlucky there, but it is a transit point, so there will be stalkers traveling in and out of that area. Just be prepared so that you're not carrying too much weight, you can just leg it. And as long as you leg it and they're not right in front of you, they're not coming towards you, then um, then you're fine. You'll make it out. Not a problem. This is hands down 
the way that I've found to be the easiest method to get into Lemansk. You can potentially approach from the northern end, so come in through the deserted hospital, but that would require you to, to go up into the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, which uh, is just as dangerous. Although, if you're stuck to the edges, you might be okay. Just depends. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Okay. No monos. Remembering that we no longer have the patch on. So they will identify us as free stalkers. Which I always found kind of interesting. Now you've got the suit on. Technically you wouldn't even really need the patch. But then even so, how would they know? How would they know that you're a free stalker if you had no patch? Not like they can see your face and identify you. Okay. Grab that. Grab that. Point two, so we need... Probably don't actually need these compression bags, to be honest. These can be combined. Alright. Uh, oh, we're at 56. Because we've got the energy drink, let's just stick with non-energy drink weight. Keep an eye out. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Pretty sure we're good. So we got a few more Kevlar plates out of this run, which means we might have a bit more success crafting an improved titanium frame. That would be good. I can hear music. Now these guys should have already moved on. So we should just be able to run straight back to our stash point without any BS. But then this is Stalker, so anything is possible. I like the fogginess. I like the fog. I think we're okay. Always double checking because you can get mutants in these areas too. Pretty dangerous ones. Chimeras tend to roam around here. If you spawn in here as a merc, green, like first game, you're in for a pretty rough ride. This is a rough place to spawn. Alright, we're going to run down through this dip and then we're going to take it a bit slower at the top, just in case. Because they could still be travelling. Okay, I think we're good. Never hurts. Just to be a little bit extra careful. Dump all of this stuff in. All of that stuff. This can stay. Um, I think we're good for everything else. Now, how are you looking? 95, you're fine. Alright, let's go. Whoops, 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 whoops. Not the granate. Don't know what they're shooting at there. Probably dogs or something. Wild dogs. So what, we've got maybe two more loads? I think. Then we can start ferrying everything in. The most dangerous part when we get back into Army Warehouse is the opening area that we come out in, which is usually the Merc checkpoint. So if that's populated, and it very well sh probably could be, we could be in for a bit of a firefight, but it's nothing we can't handle. Basically endgame gear at the moment, so we're looking pretty schmicko. Let's stay away from anomalies, they can still kill us in one hit. If you're coming into this series, uh, if this is your first episode, I do encourage you to go back and see the previous episodes. 
Um, I go through a fair bit of the crafting process and repairing gear, and I had to do a lot of that stuff at the start of this challenge. It's the crafting challenge. So if, if that interests you at all and you're still unsure about how it works, do go back and check out the earlier episodes. Uh, they will give you a bit more information. We are at our end game here, so there's not a huge amount for us left to craft or repair. And there we go, I'm sleepy again. I'll take care of that in a tick. Alright, let's get some caffeination of our nation. These can be combined. Hop, there we go. Reduces weight space. Never forget that. Good trick. Alright, all of the ammo. Doink. We'll take all of that. Bedspread we don't really need. The rope and stuff. I don't really know why we carry those. Let's just focus on getting these upgrades. We've got two of these. They're actually quite light. 0.9 and 2.7. That's going to put us over, I think. Let's get two of these and combine them. Cool. Okay, we need something. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. That'll be enough. All right, let's go. When we get down to our last trip, so when we've only got one trip left, we will sleep here. Maybe for a couple of hours, we'll sort of go back under the cover of darkness. Alright. Just to stave off sleepiness, because fighting that off while trying to transport stuff is a pain. And I don't want to burn up all of the good caffeine pills that we just looted. We looted so many. We've popped so much caffeine, we should be addicted by now. Hard addiction. Let's go. Always disorients me a little bit when they spawn in. Okay, so far we're looking good. Pretty sure we have one more load after this, so it'll be the last load. So we'll make sure we have enough space for our sleeping bag and... was a fair bit of cheddar. There we go. Alright, let's see if we get unlucky this time. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. Let's pop all of this stuff in. I always find it easier to kind of daisy chain this stuff in that way. Problem is if you leave a place and then come back and the time between visits is a little too long, then things start respawning in, including bad guys and whatnot, and that's when things get a bit painful for you. You have to fight the same battles just to get to where you were. It's, uh, it can be painful. Let's pop a couple of these back, that's ridiculous. There we go. Uh, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Yep, looking good. Alright, let's put these back, and these back. Cool. All right, let's go. Cool. Home and hose this time. We're clear. Can't wait for season two when I can slap some mods on this thing. I mean, I technically could now, but I wanted to do this run vanilla. Just to kind of give you guys an idea of what Anomaly has to offer. 
um, and as much for my own curiosity too. I wanted to see how far the crafting system would take us. Um, I've always had a lot of faith in the crafting system because I could see the potential and I can see what's missing and how they could improve it. Um, but I wanted to see how far a vanilla playthrough would get us and it, to be honest, it's taken us a fair way. I'm very impressed. If they tightened the economy a little bit more and made crafting viable, or they made a kind of like a survivalist mode in terms of crafting, it'd be ideal. It'd be fantastic. Because at the moment, cooking is just not really feasible. It's not worth it. Yeah, sure, you can get some stat boosts and stuff if you get good recipes, but it's not re really worth going out of your way to get any of that stuff. And it's, it's not necessary because food and drink are so ubiquitous. They're everywhere. You know, and they're relatively cheap too compared, so why wouldn't you? But if money was hard to come by and you had to scavenge your way through, hmm, that's a whole different situation. Wow, now that I look at it, that is actually a lot of stuff. Let's see how much we can fit. Uh, these can be disassembled, so let's do that. Oops. We'll take the wood as well, because I'm not actually sure if it's required for any of the stuff we need. Uh, keep doing that. What's wrong with your head today? It's very hot here at the moment, and I'm in a room that's not air-conditioned. My brain is cooking. Alright. All of this stuff we can optimize now, I think, if we haven't already. Yeah, we may even need another trip. Yep, that is a lot of stuff. Okay, um, what can we combine here? That one, that one, they're all combined. Man, we got a lot of stuff. So much stuff. Uh, no, we can't combine that one, but we can use one of these, actually. So let's, let's do that now. Let's just... Yeah, it's worth it. Let's do that. Yes, I'm tired. I know. I know. But it's okay. We'll live. We'll make it. Okay, that can be combined. We can claw back a little bit of space doing this. Uh, that we don't need. That can be combined. I was going to say I'm pretty sure we could combine this, but that's not really possible either. That's interesting. They're all combined. Yeah, I think... I think we've combined just about as much as we can. We clawed back a little bit of space. Let's have a look. 1.25, that's going to be too much. 0.2... 3... 4... That'll do. That'll do. One more pill to rule them all. Uh, caffeine. Cool. Finally, leave this place behind. One more trip. I'm curious to see how much money we make out of this. We've already got a fair bit of cash just scraping pure, you know, notes and coins off dead stalkers, but how much actual money can we make selling all of this stuff? How much loot money can we make? That's what I want to know. We've got artifacts, we've got ammo, we've got components, we've got all sorts of stuff. This was a good haul. We actually got a fair bit of ammo too for our mains, which is quite nice. I think it offset the cost. If not, it'd be pretty close. We definitely head in, oh, I don't know about buckshot actually, probably not, because we used our shotgun a fair bit. 
Uh, we sh well, I was going to say we should be ahead for the scar, but I'm not completely sure about that either, because some of those enemies took quite a few bullets to take down. Especially that one guy that jumped right up and surprised us. I saw what happened in the previous episode when I saw the replay. When I saw, I saw exactly what happened. That guy was... There was a monolith down at the construction site. He was lying on the ground and I thought everyone was dead. But as I approached and started looting a body, he popped back up again. Scared the crap out of me. Okay. Let's chuck in you and you. Let's chuck in all of those. Shouldn't need that many. Um, bom, 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 that can stay. That can stay. So many repair kits, right? Just crazy, crazy. Uh, that can stay. You can stay. And you can stay. Okay. What else? That can stay. So many things can stay. Man, we got a lot of water out of that too. That is cool. Okay. I was going to say, how many of these pills do we have? Like, far too many. Wow. So much stuff. Man, we met it up, we got all the things. Alright, let's go back. Happy days. Last load. This will be good once we get it all back. We still have to run it back in through Army Warehouse, but at least it'll be relatively friendly territory. We'll only have one or two factions to worry about instead of all of the factions. And there's always the potential for more loot on the way back. Just because it's Army Warehouse. Bum, 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 bum. Yep, we're looking peachy. Kind of surprised we haven't had like a Psy Storm or anything yet. Okay. We'll have a drink when we get to the other side. Mmm, the construction site. That was good fun. Alright, let's get into the house. take care of our condition. Alright. We could technically bring at least one or two loads back into... What is the time? Yeah, I guess. I don't need any of this stuff. I'm gonna drop it all. We're gonna drop this and this and this and this. We don't need any of that. Technically don't need the rope either, I think, although it does offer a repair bonus. We'll hold on to it for now. Okay. Uh, we do actually need one of these pouches. Not all, just one. Okay, draw one. 
Now, I think I will take my own advice. And what we're going to do is pack the sleeping bag up here. So there we go. And we're going to head back. Screw sticking around here any longer. Let's go. Cool. Happy days. We'll check out our upgrade situation when we get back, see what we can play around with. We've got quite a few upgrade kits. I have a feeling they're all going to be double ups of stuff we've already got, but um, come on. Oh. Why are you going in the wrong direction? Why do you do that? There you go. Oh, great. We were just commenting about that. Can we get in here? Is this shelter? No? It's not shelter? Oh, hello, there's a backpack. Alright, this apparently is not shelter, so we're just gonna have to lump it. Oh, where are we? Oh, great. We can't because there are enemies nearby. We need side protection. I don't think that's going to be good enough, to be honest. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, wow. Our sleeping situation is really bad. Okay, yeah, we're basically screwed. That was just really bad timing. I can't run. Yeah, that's really annoying. That's really annoying. See these buildings, they should be safe because you can bunker down in all sorts of weird locations, but for some reason they decide that's not the case here. Do you know what? I wonder if we can go back, if it will let us. It's probably my only, one of my bigger gripes with the emission and psi storm um, events. Not really consistent in that the, the shelter isn't really consistent. It's really frustrating. And it was really crappy that we couldn't just take that pill either. That, that really annoys me. Yeah, okay, so now we're fine. Okay. That was just unlucky. We could have gone into Assault the Merc base, but we're already looted up, and that's going to be just more headache. If I were playing something like an Iron Man run, that'd be probably your only option at that point. I actually forgot that you couldn't take this medicine if enemies were around, which is really frustrating. So, FYI, if you're in a relatively safe area, you can take the antibiotics and it will knock you out uh, for the duration of the emission or side storm. Uh, but you'll be safe, you won't be dead. Assuming that you don't get eaten by a mutant or something, just make sure that you're in a relatively safe area before you do it. Gabish. And of course, Monolith, I think, can walk around on this like it's nothing. Because they have no brains. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll just keep an eye on things, I guess. Then what do we get our hands on? So, what I'd like to do is replace this gravy. 
with another improved titanium grid. And I think that's where these are going to come in and help us, because I think we've looted at two of these apiece, and I think we were missing two, I think. Possibly three. But that will get us on the way. Uh, what else have we got here? Just figuring out what else we can do. We could maybe repair this. Two percent, it's not really worth it. I'm afraid to walk around too much in this area. Because all I have to do is clip outside the boundary and I'm dead. Some of the safety zones in these houses are really dicky. That should be us done. No. Still more. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Boom. Are we done now? Hey, look at that. There we go. Squatting. Bum, 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 bum. What was that? Come on, man. Let me out. I want to play. Ay, 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 ay. This one's going to last a while. Uh, pretty sure you can't destroy these. These crates are... These crates are non-destructible as well. Alright, now we're done. Cool. Let's get out of here. Well, I did say it had been a while since we had a size storm. And there it was. Didn't really want to run into the Merc warehouse. Did not feel like going into the warehouse of death. Because then I'd have to walk away with more loot and that would just be pain in the ass. Shooty, shooty. On the last load as well, man. We were so close. I wonder if any of these high rises are potential shelter. Whether they kind of force you to go into the Merc base or something. Here we go. Sun's back again. Alright, so we're starting to get a little bit exhausted. What we're going to do is take our first load through and then we're going to rest at the small base, small little village thing um, just past the checkpoint in Army Warehouse. I'll show you when we get there. It's a cool sunset, man. I like it. I dig it. Okay, no one around. We're good. Brilliant. Alright. Let's stock up on our gear. Oh, that's too much. Or is it? Nah, we should be okay. Let's go in. This is where it gets interesting. We're going to hit the checkpoint and there may be guys here. We have a little bit of space left if we want to carry away some extra loot, but not a huge amount, so we're going to have to be careful. May just have to toss a lot of stuff on the ground. Alright, who we got here? No one? Seriously? 
Would have expected them to light fires if anyone was here. It's not a hard guarantee that there's no one here, but it's a pretty good indicator. Yeah, see? Fire there. There's no one here. Odd. Got anyone down there? Nope, not by the look. Got anyone down here? Not by the look. Alright, you can see we're chewing up a lot of stamina. Switch out to our street sweeper, just in case, because there are mutants around. Just put some hard cover between us. I hear a fire. No, potentially not. Alright, let's see who we got here. Okay, we got shooty down there, we got shooty over there, we got shooty everywhere. God damn. Uh, it's just a cat. Okay. Alright. Let's chuck all of this stuff back in. Uh, one of these. Okay. Just an alert. Still managed to pick up more of these shells. God damn it. They can stay in the stash. I don't care. So it'd be a cool idea to slap a Merc patch on this, but it's not Merc armor. Not gonna happen. Would not let us. The game would not let us if we tried. Okay, I think that's everything here. We're cool. Let's sleep. Just gonna... I know that sleeping will save. But I just want to actually get a fire going here. Alright, let's... Let's rest. Let's rest until... what are we on there? Yeah, I guess. Ish. It should be fine. Alright, we're hungry, thirsty. Bum, bum, bum. That will keep the hungry away. Still got shooty shooty. Let's not run into an anomaly, hey? Okay. Still no one manning this checkpoint. They will refresh at some point. Something must have happened here. We'll take it though. It's a win. Alright, cool. So this will be the relatively easy part of the run. There's no one here at the checkpoint, so that's fine. We can just transfer our stuff backwards and forwards and get it all in. Oop, hey, ho, ho. Jumping. That's us. Let's grab all of this good cap. Hmm. I have a feeling this is going to weigh fair amount. Bang, look at that. Yep. Okay. Um, that should be fine. Alright, cool. Cool. 
So this is what it is, backwards and forwards, get all the stuff in, lots of stuff to sell. Check our money situation when we get back. Watch it slowly go up with each load. Still no one here, it's only been a very short period of time. That being said, spawns can happen pretty much any time and people are always moving through the zone. The improved AI means that the place is still active, even if you're not in an area. Okay. Now this place is abnormally quiet, man. It's really quiet. Let's go around this way. Mission had to happen that put one of these things right in our path. Alright. Cool. Let's drop this stuff off. And you know what? It's been incredibly rude of me. This is, for me, filming in the new year. And I haven't even said, how was everyone's New Year's? Christmas and New Year's. I hope you all had a good Christmas and New Year's. Sp got to spend it with your loved ones. At least have a good time. Okay. Let's avoid that. My Christmas was pretty quiet, not because we didn't really want to go anywhere, it was more just a case of uh, me having to work and not being too mobile. So uh, we stuck around close to home, just a nice quiet one. But sometimes that's just what you need. New Year's was kind of the same as well. Okay, this is going to be an easy run for us. Look at this. Just going to get ignored for this. I mean, I'm fine with that. It's, you know, it takes time to ferry this stuff backwards and forwards, so I'm perfectly fine with that. Of course. But we're not going to end this episode until everything is back in the stash. That is the idea. Even potentially look at upgrades if it's not going to run too long. Yeah, we'll take don't really need to take that to be honest. Although I suppose we do if we want the backpack, which we technically don't need to take either. Ah, decisions. Decisions. Look how much of this ammo we've got. That is just nuts. Look at it all. Our SCAR did a good job, but we may need to give it a rest for a little bit while we lean on other weapons. How much are you? You're 4. You're 1.6. That's going to be too much. Actually, no, it would have been fine. Never mind. I do math. I do math. Yep, that's pulled me over. That's okay. That's fine. The way it is is fine. How much cash are we going to make off this stuff, is the question. And how much is our ammo stock going to go up as well? Because we've collected a lot of ammo. It's good stuff, I like it. I like it a lot. This may be a clean run, for this section at least. Nice, very nice. Well, I mean, that's Lamansk out of the way, hey? That's one more place to tick off the list. I wonder if our standing has gone up or down. I wouldn't be surprised if it went down a little bit. 
because we haven't really been killing that many monolith. Did I hear something? No, don't think so. Well, did I? I can, yeah, I can hear the crackling. It's just the fire. Okay. Done, done, done. So much ammo. Look at this stuff. It's crazy. Yeah, that's not us. Upgrade kits. All of this good stuff. It's brilliant. Uh, what else did we grab? What else? I think that's it. Alright, let's head back. Nice, easy trips. Is this a sort of... Do you like this sort of stuff in Stalker? Do you, do you not mind doing the fairing loop backwards and forwards? Or do you find it kind of tedious? I can appreciate that this is not really for everyone. We could call this an interlude technically, but um, it's part of the playstyle, it's part of the playthrough, so I include it. Also to let you guys see what I consider junk and what I consider keeping. I'm not saying I'm the authority on that, but um, for the crafting challenge, there's definitely a lot more to consider than just um, will this sell well. And now we're looking at crafting upgrade kits, because we're having trouble finding the ones that we want. We're going to need as much equipment as we can get our hands on. Technically, if we'd paid attention to that a little more in the beginning, we probably could have been where we needed to be right now, but it would have taken longer to get here. And there's no guarantees. There's never any guarantees. I don't think I'm going to be able to grab everything. Let's grab this stuff. Grab the heavy bits. We might be able to. Ooh, it's gonna be close, I reckon. Let's grab it all. Oh, holy crap. That is so heavy. What a shame. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, what are we going to put back? The heavy stuff. That can stay. Okay, we can still move with this. Man, there's not much left. Uh, going to have to come back. One more, one more. It's alright. It's alright, we'll get it all there. Don't worry, don't worry. The last bit we'll be selling everything off. We won't be dumping it all straight in the stash. We'll sell off what we don't need. Make all of that sweet, sweet cash money. Empty. Okay, yeah, we are overburdened. Sure, why not? Let's use one of these. Get some stocker juice. I mean, we can still be attacked out here, right? We've got mutants potentially up this way. We've got stalkers potentially heading in this way. It's the middle of the night. Normally stalkers, yeah, I suppose in this area they're kind of active all the time, but... Usually it settles down a bit. Fire is not lit, okay. Always check out this area here, just, just make sure that this isn't populated. Because sometimes there'll be a guy just randomly standing here, a merc or someone like that. You won't see him, necessarily. 
but you'll be in for a world of hurt. All right. Yeah, that can all stay. That can all stay. That can pretty much all stay too. I don't think we really need grenades on us right now. Uh, you know what? They can all stay. We don't need those with us. That. Pretty much. I was going to say all of that, but not really. Alright, let's dump all of this stuff in. It's nice having all this stuff in one location. So much stuff. All of the mutant parts, I'm not sure if we will sell them necessarily at the army warehouse or whether we'll keep them and then on sell them to the scientists. Not sure what we're going to do with them yet. They can stay. That can stay. Definitely. Whoa, 22 bandages, holy crap. We actually don't need to micromanage this too much, because we're going to need to go. Okay. So someone's taking pot shots over here. I'm surprised that no one's here. Normally this barricade here has at least one merc guarding it. They must be really thinned out at the moment. That was probably us. <laughs> that was a handful of episodes ago now. When we assaulted Dead City. Came, saw, conquered, took all the loots. One tiny trip and we are, well, we're all in the army warehouse. Then we'll look at just grabbing a whole bunch of stuff to sell. Okay. So, let's, eh, come on, let's go. Brilliant. Okay, now we can start making money. That looked like something. Hmm, I thought that fire fired up then. I thought I saw an orange glow here. Interesting. Yeah, I see what you did there, game. Wait until the last load, then we'll get him again. So far we've been pretty lucky, running through this area. We went over this ridge though, we might encounter bloodsuckers and all sorts of nasty stuff. Which is exactly where we're going very shortly. Alright. Let's have a look at some of the stuff we can sell. Let's start with all of this stuff. That's all sellable. I don't think we need to break down leather gloves anymore, so we're going to take and sell those too. That's sellable. We'll keep all of this. That's sellable. Don't really want that. Pretty sure I don't need that. Could end up screwing myself over, but I'm pretty sure we're fine. Uh, I don't think they'll take ammo parts. We'll probably end up just dropping those. That's sellable. That's sellable. 
Man, oh man, we have so much stuff. Is that really all we've got that's sellable? I mean, we've got... Oh, here we go. Out oh, of hell with it. Good enough. Alright. Sounded pretty close. Let's go. Yeah, that was pretty close. Who knows what we'll encounter out here? Monolith. Okay, here we go. Let's say, do we actually have anyone there? Not so, I mean, the fire's there, but I'm not seeing anyone yet. Hmm. Let's keep going. Try not to get eaten by something. What have we got down there? Oh, we got hostiles. Who are you? Monolita. We'll let him fight it out. Did he kill him? Come on, who's going to win? Get them, brother. Kill them. Oh well. Alright, let's see what this guy's got on him. Alright, let's unload. Drop. All right, we got stuff. Take that. Sure. It's payback for not helping me last time, you prick. If you didn't see that episode, go back and watch the previous episodes. This guy deserved it. I know, it's such a travesty. Yeah, have a gun. It was his favourite. Okay. Oh, battery. Battery. Cool. Yeah. I don't really want to have to pop a caffeine tablet. Ah, home sweet home. Man, we got some good loot. VSK 94, VSS Venturis. Ah, 2, 2, 8, 12. Hmm. Same rounds, this one's got a scope. I would be more inclined to that. I'm not actually sure if that scope is any good. Guys, it's dawning, it's so beautiful. No, it's pitch black, you moron. But sure. Alright, let's pop that back. So the stuff we'll keep. Uh, those are sellable, that's all sellable. We'll keep those. 
Dun, 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 dun. These are obviously sellable, but we are not going to sell them just yet. That's all sellable. That stuff goes back in. Okay. This stuff is all sellable. We're not going to keep any of that. Cool. Let's go and sell it. Now, how much cash do we actually have? We go, we've almost got 170. 170k. So let's have a chat with this guy. And you can take all of the bits that we've found. Look how quickly the look how quickly our money goes up when we offer up the ammo. Take all of those. Oh, we even got some woodka. You know what? We'll keep that, I guess, for now. Um, oh, we could have put that one. No, not that one. We need that one. All right, so that's an extra almost 11k. That's cool. I think that's everything. All right. Let's have a look at these. Until then, we stand guard. Okay, so that's Monolita. Let's disassemble. gonna say at least one of these is probably whoa probably gonna be encrypted holding this position same deal sure not as handy all right so we'll go and check this one out rather than equip our current PDA we'll just wait see now it's getting lighter now you can say it's beautiful Starting to. We'll go and check out this encoded PDA. So for those who don't know, um, PDAs that say they are protected, that they're locked, you can get them unlocked with guys like this. I have an encrypted PDA, it doesn't seem to respond. Can you work it out for me? Any technician will be able to do this for you. Bang, you just pay them 500 rubles, which is usually fine. It's not a huge amount of money. All right, and now if we have a look, it is now unlocked. And if we have a look through, made it to the red forest, uh, on target. Okay, so it's just Monolith talking about um, what he's been up to. Has there been any change in plans? Calm day, another Monolith. See for funny. Yeah, yeah. Lots of standing guard, lots of waiting for something. And same deal for this one. So this one had nothing on there, no stashes, nothing like that. Occasionally, these things happen. You can normally sell off this information. Certain vendors will accept this information. You don't go through the trade screen. It'll be an option in their dialogue to choose from, saying that you've found some interesting documents. And uh, they will give you money for it, typically. Now, can I equip you? Yes, you will let me. Excellent. Cool. Okay, grooming kit's almost destroyed. That's fine. We found so freaking many of them. Let's go. We're doing pretty good. Building our cash back up. Building our rep back up. Getting our stores ready. It'd be nice to get one more improved titanium frame. That would be great. I'm not sure if we have enough resources for it. We'll check that when we get back. That looked like a flashlight. Or was that a... No, that was an electro. Strange that you weren't with any of your buddies. What have we got here? These are friendly. Okay. cool. All 
All right, we're moving on. to wake up the chimeras if there are any there might be chimeras love this spot here okay there's a fire lit I'm pretty sure that was us oh, look at that we've got more pills Just checking. Never hurts the check. Okay, that fire's not lit. Yep, it's just us. Pretty sure. Okay. Now, I'm actually not sure why I brought this with me because it's in pretty rough condition and I don't think we can actually repair this. Hey. It's, it's attractive to me. Yeah, it's in rough condition, it's not going to be helpful. I mean, so we can't break it down, we can't do anything with it. Sure, I guess, we'll bring it with us. Man, the weight's going up real quick. Can we... Just slightly over. Just a touch. There we go. Boom. And back we go. Thought I heard rustling out here. Made me a little bit paranoid. Stalker does that to you. Stalker makes you paranoid. Never let anyone tell you that you're too paranoid in Stalker. No such thing. If anything, you're never paranoid enough. Because goddamn, death will come from just about anywhere. Looking forward to checking out our stash when we get back. Check out all the components, because I reckon we should have enough to do that upgrade I wanted to do. Sorry, to upgrade the um, titanium frame to an improved titanium frame. Which will allow us to carry a little bit more. We can swap out the gravy and sell it off for some cash. And that will just... So it's small improvements like this. We're at that kind of level of the game now, where it's small improvements. Just chipping away, just a little bit better, a little bit better. That's what we're after. Check out our upgrade situation as well. Do love that fog. Looks so cool. Okay, Judy and Freedom probably going at it again. Let's have some food, hey? Om nom 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 nom. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Dump all of this stuff back off. Now, the interesting question will be where we go from here now that we've explored Rostock. Oh, Rostock. Lamansk. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see how good the sapphire suit is. Do we already have one of those in Rostock? Oh, ho, ho. See what you did there. Cheeky breaky. Okay, I think that's everything. Yep, we should be good. Sure, let's go. Like I said, we'll check all of our stuff once we've got everything in the stash. That's pretty close. I think it's down at that checkpoint. Let's have a look. Uh, 
Uh, Judy, hey? Who's he attacking? I was going to say, we're not going to be able to get up there. That's a Judy friend. Not seeing the body, but... Oh, is that it there? Maybe. Doesn't matter. We'll keep going. Hmm, not into an anomaly. Okay. A few more loads and we're done. Like I said, this is going to be a quieter episode. Just the maintenance stuff. But the exciting part is we get to upgrade little bits and pieces and then we get to decide where we go next. I'm not really sure. I haven't decided where would be good to go next. Okay. Let's grab the heavy stuff first. Because that'll be a bit of a load. Yeah, we could have actually taken that with us and sold that too. Idiot. Alright, let's just grab all the ammo. Let's do that. I was going to say, that's going to be too much. Perfect, that's fine. Boom. Really is kind of strange that we haven't seen much going on. I don't know, man. Maybe the zone's on a New Year's break as well. Taking some time off. Recharging. Understandable. The zone has been very busy in 2021. Trying to kill us and succeeding on a number of occasions. Then again, you can blame some of that on my own stupidity. Or carelessness. Or um, the rush to get to and from. It's always when you get greedy or you try and rush things that bad stuff happens. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Bad. Bad pulse. No. Okay, looks like freedom is cottoned on to the Judy guy, which means he'll probably get knocked off soon. Then again, Judy aren't necessarily fantastic fighters. Sorry, Freedom. Aren't necessarily fantastic fighters. Okay. Yeah, let's keep that pistol here. For now. Just, whoa. Just for now. Okay. So much stuff, man. Look at this stuff. Crazy stuff. It's going to be about the weapon, isn't it? So I don't know why I keep you guys around. You really are useless. Clown. Not many more loads left. We may be able to get away with one more. Just the one. 
Very strange, we haven't been attacked by mutants. There's been nothing charging in at us. No people respawning. Been backwards and forwards quite a few times. And there's been nothing. Oh, someone's announcing their fine to the world. Lucky you're a loner. But I might have to hunt you down. Alright, we're almost there. The finish line is in sight. It's just as well, because I am melting in this computer room. Holy crap. The aircon is on, but I have the door closed for recording, so I'm sweltering in here. Okay. Yeah, actually, we managed to squeak all of this in in one load. That'd be a miracle. God damn miracle. I don't think it's going to happen. Let's get the heavy stuff. Yeah, it's this stuff that's probably going to break it. I think. This stuff tends to be pretty heavy. Yeah. Grab those, grab those. Okay, yeah, so there's 23.8 kilos in here. That's not going to happen. It's deceiving. It doesn't look like that much. Five point five. Okay, one of those can go back. Back. Thank you. Perfect. So one more load after this. Then we'll have all the food, all the resources, all the everything, all the alls. Yeah, give me something to shoot at game. I think our rank's gonna fall just because we've been so inactive. It's okay. Creepy noises. The upshot is we'll have a lot of stuff in our stash and we can kind of fall back on that. So we can check out our upgrade situation. Hopefully we've got enough components for a handful of things. That would be cool. You were just hanging out. Yeah, we'll check out our upgrade situation. I think we're going to be pretty good. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful we have enough for the improved titanium frame. Because really, that'd be the last thing we kind of need to upgrade here. Replace one already. Replace this one, because we need these. These are going to give us a better gain than um, these. In terms of how much space they free up. How much extra carry capacity they give us. Okay, that can all go back in... Some of this we can actually sell. That we can sell for sure. Just put a couple of nades back. Oh, bugger it. We'll just put it all back. They can all go back. See, a lot of this stuff is sellable. The reason we kind of haven't yet... Um, ...is because we're still kind of making our way up through the zone. When we reach a point that we need more cash, then we can sell. No reason to do that beforehand. Because you never know what you need. Uh, okay, all of this stuff can stay. Damn, that's a lot of stuff, eh? That can stay. Let's go! 
You again? Alright, cool. That should be enough. Let's go and sell off this one suppressor. Man, bandits and Judy are going at it. Come on, Judy, finish him off. What the hell are you doing? What are you freaking out for? Honestly, it's not... That's, that's ages away. Yeah, take this. Schmuck on that. Yeah, there you go. Finally got him. You shoot it. <laughs> well, he's left this world to go to another. Amen. Cold. Alright, one more trip. One more time. Another five minutes, we should be crafting, friends. Or at least figuring out what we can craft. Okay. Chalk this one up, we haven't even been touched once. The most excitement we've had is with that monolith guy who was fighting someone else. I haven't seen a lot of um, stalkers moving around the area either. Again, another strange thing. Take the rest. We are done here. Cool. Well, that was quite a few trips, but we got it done. We're getting it done. One more trip. One more trip. Then we'll look at some quick upgrades. See what we can craft. Hopefully something. Try not to be too cocky and just keep an eye out for random trouble. Random trouble. The monolith can always come in from down that way. Beasts are normally over here, chimeras are around this area. Lots of bad news here, but lots of opportunity. Also in previous episodes, we have explored this place already. Brilliant. Okay, here we are, here we go. Excellent, alright, cool. So. Pop all of this stuff back because it's all useful. Okay, that can all stay. Alright, wow, 12 batteries. That is nuts. Alright. Now, I know that we only just repaired this scar. But we are saving this for high powered situations. So. We'll 
We'll keep the scar on us just for now. I will take our pistol back though. Where are you at? There you are. That'll do. That'll do. That's fine. Alright. Now. Just remembering how much of this stuff we actually need to upgrade. Pretty sure, as far as our suit went, we had everything we really wanted to do. So we could do some of this, but it's kind of pointless. Given that, you know, that's not really what we have the suit for. Um, let's have a look at our shotgun. So, I mean, we still have some stuff for the shotgun. Reliability. What's that? Judy, okay. Let's just go down to upgrades. Alright, let's have a look here. So, we're still missing this thing. Pretty sure we don't have that. You know, we don't. Just, there are some kits I just can't get my hands on. It's crazy. Uh, we do need this one. It's going to be the same deal, this round thing here. Nope, we don't have one of those either. Really lucking out with a lot of this stuff. Same for this one. Alright, well forget it, that's not going to help us. Um, what about if we try and upgrade you, friend? Let's just scroll down. Alright, let's have a look. Yeah, this one doesn't have a lot of upgrades, so... Handling, we need this thing. Which we don't have. <laughs> oh, God. So we could go for firing rate. Reliability 10%. Nope. We don't have those at all, those components. It's just... Whoops, whoops, whoops. So we could do recoil and an accuracy boost, potentially. Do we have the accuracy boost? We don't. We don't even have that. God damn it. This is what I mean. We're just going to have to start crafting stuff. But we do have this. And we've got five of these. I have a feeling we actually need four of these. Let's grab these and have a look. Let's go and check out our crafting situation. your vice, buddy. Let's have a look. Alright. Uh, nope. Let's go equipment first. Yeah, we need four of these. God damn it. So we're missing two. Alright, so that's that out of the way. We can't upgrade that. But at least we got a couple. At least we got two. So that's good. Let's have a look at the upgrade kits. Alright, so we need this. What does this require? It's actually pretty reasonable. Pretty sure we do actually... Fasteners, or oh, we may not have enough fasteners. But we may have enough stuff to break down to get the fasteners. Is the point. Let's have a look. Because I'm pretty sure we have... Towels. So I'm pretty sure we have this, I think. Let's go and check. Yeah, I think this is it here. I reckon 
it is. That's it. All right. So we need those cloth sheets, I think. We need fasteners. Let's let's go by order here. Uh, fasteners. Okay. So we've only got three. We need more of those. Uh, we need some metallic scrap. And we need cloth sheet synthetic. Our old friend cloth sheet synthetic. Hmm, so we may actually need to break down more stuff to get that. Cool, okay, interesting. Um, okay, so that has parts. We can potentially get stuff from that. Not from you. We can get stuff from you. Alright. What about you? Yep, we can get stuff from you too. So, let's break this stuff down. Actually, do we have another grooming kit? Or uh, something like that? Not really, hey. Okay. Yeah, that's all just parts and components and stuff. Yep, no, I think we're out of luck. That's okay, that's fine. Disassemble. So we need seven fasteners. Okay, we got one. Oh, we got three on that, uh, two on that one. That's pretty awesome. And they need one more. Great, cool, we got what we need. Okay. Upgrade parts. We need you. Oh, we need the basic balancing as well. God damn it. Did we have one of those in the stash? Oh, it's going to require the same stuff. Oh my god. Okay. Helps when you pay attention. Um, we do actually. We do actually have one. Brilliant. That saves us a lot of hassle. Alright. Uh, let's grab one of you. Small boar. Yep, perfect. Alright, so we'll craft this upgrade. Bum, 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 bum. You. Done. Come on. And then... We can upgrade you. So we can install the recoil and the accuracy. Handy dandy. Cool. That's pretty awesome. Alright. Could we technically upgrade that too? Not sure if we have that in our stash. Go, put our silencer back on. Not sure if we can upgrade the firing rate. Possibly. Yep, we can. So if we do that, then we'd be stuck at this point again where we actually need one of these to go any further. But we can do this, so we can, we might as well. Uh, and we're stuck at that point as well. Let's see how many of these we can craft. I can't remember how many we can actually craft, but let's see how many we can. These can all go back. There's no point carrying these around. We can't do much with them right now. Loaded 
my weapon for me as well. Alright, let's go. Speak to me. Okay. Can we? We can. Alright, so this is where we need other stuff. I will check our stash. Well, actually, we could probably check it now. We got a bit of time. We've got time until it happens. Uh, we need four of these. We do actually have four. Rotating head. We need four of those. Where is it? Two locks? Which one is it? Is it this one? No, it might be this one. Say NATO. No, it's this one, I think. No, we don't have enough. Okay. Worth checking. Yes, I know, I know. We're getting there. Explosion hasn't happened yet. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yep, we're fine. You are standing right in front of this thing. Can you move? Like, can you actually move? I need the vice. Get out of the way. I hope this doesn't bug me out. Alright. Let's install you. No, you can wait. Get stuffed. Alright. That's good. Can you, uh, nudge me? You're making me nervous. Get out of here. Clown. Well, while this is happening, let's just have a quick check of our trusty PDA. Figure out maybe where we can go next. Alright, so we went up to Lemansk, went all through here, even cleared out a route to the deserted hospital, but we'd have to slog our way all the way back through there if we wanted to go back in this direction, so... Don't know about that. What I would like to do though, I would like to push up into Jupiter, this area here. Establish another little base of operations. And from there we can kind of do a whole bunch of stuff. So I reckon maybe that might be our next move. Push up through Red Forest maybe. Oh, and there's our target. Look at that. Sure. I think that's a trip. That's a trip we can do. It's not a trip that we need a scar for though. We are running kind of low. Let's just change that. We're running a little bit low on the ammo for that, and I would like to save that for when we get into um, some of the more northern territories. So we'll just hold off on that. All right, we're good to go. Oh, come on. Right. Actually, I should take the scar with me. It would be really dumb to leave it here. And we do actually have a whole bunch of artifacts we could sell off too. Hmm. Plus mutant parts and things. Let's put these back. Put that back. I don't think we need quite so many of these. These actually weigh not too much, so they should be fine. Alright, we need a bit more water. Здорово. 
and I think I'll have a quick check of the PDA. All right, so I do know that there's a scientist bunker up in this area here. Pretty sure it's this area. Yeah. It's like, I think that's it right there. Another scientist bunker. So we could actually take our finds up north with us. I think what we might do is we might gear up for that trip. So let's do that. Let's take... Let's take all of our gear that we want to keep. Uh, we'll take the scar, of course. We will take one of these suits to go hunting. Alright, let's take all of this ammo because we'll stop pile it up there. Uh, I guess technically we're taking all of this stuff with us, which has already put us over. Uh, we may... We may need to be a bit choosy about what we take. That can probably stay. Okay, what do you like for ammo? I've actually got a fair bit of that ammo. Alright, so we're going to need to take some of this stuff. Look at all of this ammo. How much ammo did we get? Holy crap. That's a lot of ammo, man. We could basically take this with us. Yeah, which is going to put us overweight. Massively. Um... We could technically... It's an extra three kilos. It's kind of negated by this. Not much point. Just trying to think of ways to optimize our loadout so we can try and take everything with us. I just don't think it's going to be possible. I'd really love to bring this along, but it's super heavy. Um, same with this. Because there are a lot of good spots to go artifact hunting up there. Um, and these are heavy too, of course. Yeah, I just don't think it's possible to take everything we want. What can we potentially leave behind? And I mean, I did want to do a trip up there. Alright, you know what? I'm going to have to be a little bit judicious about this, so... Let's just take the bits and pieces that I guess we need right now. All the stuff we can sell. That can sell. Alright, 168 is still a lot going to say. I don't think we can even move on that. So we could even potentially just have to leave the scar here for now. Maybe come back for it. Let's do that because we do want to save ammo for it. So we might as well just load ourselves up on the stuff we're going to need for this particular journey. Um, we'll take a backpack. Just in case. I think we're pretty well right with everything else. Got as much as we need. Because from this point, we're just... We're kind of pushing north, so... Yeah, we could break those down for components. Same with all this stuff. We'll leave this all here because we don't really need it with us. Yeah, I think that's about it. I think... I think that's about all we need. That'll do. That's basically our set. We've got water, we've got food. Yep, 
Should be fine. We'll bump into other people that we can top if we need to top up. And we are pretty well... Yeah, it's early morning. So we're fine, we're laughing. We're only slightly overweight. Not by a huge amount. So what we can do is just pop some stalker juice. Uh, I would be more tempted to pop a Hercules. 3.7, yeah. Hop. And we're going to call the episode here. I think we've done pretty well. So this is it. This is us. Thank you once again for watching. I do appreciate your support. Um, if you want to show a bit more support, please go down, like the video, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate that everyone's jumping on the channel now, which is really good. Really good to see the numbers um, pushing up really quickly, which has surprised me, man. Like we broke 700 subs by the end of the year, which is really good to see. I love it. And get active in the comments as well, because I want to hear what you guys think about this season and about the playthrough in general. Um, all your thoughts and ideas and suggestions for mods. I'm seeing some really good suggestions and I'm compiling a list of all of this stuff for season two, which is, I suppose it's not too far away, but we still have a fair bit to go with this season. There's still a lot to explore, but I'm going to, I'm really excited for next season. So it's going to be huge. It's going to be awesome. And I'm going to involve you guys with it too, which is the exciting part. Okay. Also, don't forget to check out my other channel, my Hey Blondie long-form video game analysis channel. Uh, link is in the description for that. I'm also on Twitter if you want to follow me there. Uh, yes, unfortunately, that trash dumpster fire platform. I'm on there. There are people, they talk. I try and contribute what I can. It's, yeah, it's, a, it's all in good fun. It's a marketing tool as much as anything else, but um, it's just good to get to see other people, other creators put their content out and support them too because that's what it's all about, you know, we've got to help each other. Uh, what else? We haven't actually checked our PDA. We haven't checked our PDA. Let's check and see where we sit. So, as predicted, we have kind of slipped back a couple of spots, just because we haven't been killing as many Monolita this episode. Um, but we're still going up in rank. Our reputation has actually gone down a little bit, because we shot those guys when we were disguised. I actually didn't think it would happen for us. I thought that was kind of happening, like, in general, just for Monolith, like, as, as, as part of being Monolith. But we have actually dropped the reputation. It's okay, though, because we can get that back up by helping and questing and that sort of stuff. I'm not too concerned about that. We did go a little bit cold-blooded there, though, I have to admit. Oh, well, is what it is. And with all of the stuff that we did, we slipped back a little bit in money, but, you know, we've upgraded more of our weapons, you know, we're slow, slowly but surely pushing forward into the into the end game territory. We're basically there, we're just kind of finishing things off here and there where we can. All in good fun. There it is. The end of the episode. Thank you guys, and until next time. Good hunting, stalker. <laughs>